hi so in this video i will explain you about uh, what is a python list so list is basically a, when you write a list you write the elements uh, in that list within the square brackets so how you do it is like take a square bracket and write the elements by just separated by commas when you write the elements the elements could be any it could be a, a string or it could be numeric it could be decimal values anything you can write inside the list so data type can be anything it can be integer type it can be float it could be double it could be character or anything so let's begin our first list let's give the name say the name is l1 and then you write the list within the square brackets first element will be a second is b third is 1 and fourth is 20 so this is a list and the list or the length of this list is four elements so we can see count the number of elements is one two three four and out of these three uh, four elements two are characters and two are numeric variables numeric uh, elements sorry so uh, this is a list so you can uh, you can have any length of the list and you can either make a pure numeric uh, list or you can take uh, write all the string uh, characters elements or you can do anything inside you can make a mix also like I have made here so it is a four element list and if you write you store this square bracket in this l1 object and when again once again if you write l1 and then you do shift enter in this you see that um, a B 120 so this is being stored inside the L1 so this returns the list now let's say store another list L2 and give the first element as 1 10 minus 10 20 and then minus 100 so there are five elements here five elements list so now if again if you write L2 and then shift enter you get the elements of this now this is one thing so first thing is then when you write the list you write the elements of the list inside the square brackets and you separate the elements by a comma you you can count the number of elements that is the length of the list that is third thing and the fourth thing is important is the index so first element when you count that index does not have first index so you will not say first second third fourth instead you will say 0 1 2 3 but the length will remain the same because 0 1 2 3 there are four elements but the indexing will start from 0 so 0th index of l1 is a first index is b and the second is one l1 and the third index of l1 is 20 similarly the 0th index of l2 is 1 and the fourth 0 1 2 3 4 so fourth index of l2 is minus 100 so this you should keep in mind so four things like a square brackets separate the elements by comma and uh, indexing starts from zero that is important thing so if you have four elements so it will go from zero to three so four minus one if you have five elements it will go from zero to four so 0 1 2 3 4 now let's come to accessing the first element of the list so say we have the l1 which we have already seen here a b 120 and we want to extract the first element so as i already told the first element is indexed by 0 so you will write l1 within a square brackets you write 0 that is the index so l1 0 will return back uh, just shift enter it returns back a l1 0 with index returns a now if you change 1 and then shift enter it returns b you do 2 and it returns 1 like this if you write 3 it returns 20 if you write 4 it will give error the error is because the index is out of range we do not have the 
any element at the fourth index so you can go at max length of the list minus one because the indexing starts from zero now if you want to access the last element you should have already guessed that whatever the length of l1 just subtract by so for getting the length of any uh, any list you use the function len len so len l1 will give uh, in l1 is four element list so it will give four four minus one is three so l1 three gives 20 that is here 20 now accessing say you don't just want to first and last say you want to uh, extract the first index till the third index so you ha you can write like one two four but it will not include the fourth index element it will include the till the third index so l1 one two four so c here zero one two three so what it is giving b 120 b 120 zero one two three so from one till three it is b 120 so it is giving all this so i think accessing the elements is very clear the first and the last and accessing any element just give the right index you can extract any element from that now say you want to update the list element so how you would update is say you want to in uh, change the third index element so right now the third index element in l1 is 20 and you want to change it to say 500 so you will change it to 500 and now now again you will see that what is l1 so first 0 1 2 3rd so 3rd is now changed instead of 20 now it has come to 500 so a b 1 500 this is updating the elements you can update any element out of this now say you just don't want to update you want to remove the elements of the list so the function used for removing the list elements is del d e l which is delete so the short form is del and you write l1 and you want to remove the elements you give the index second till four second till four that means second and third it will not go till four it is second and third so if you go to l1 are updated l1 is a b 1 500 so 0 1 2 3 so it will remove the second and the third so it will only leave a and b behind so you can see now l1 has only a and b because the second and the third element is being has been removed so by now you have understood what is the list how to calculate the length by just using the length function how to access the elements and how to update the elements how to delete the elements next thing is now if you have say two or more than two list how you can combine them that is known as concatenation that is known as concatenation so let's we can say concatenating the two list so let it's not necessary that both length of the list should be same it can be that three element list is being concatenated to the five element list so you can just write like l1 is equal to a b 120 there are four elements in this and in l2 say 1 10 minus 10 20 and uh, minus 100 this is five element list now you just want to concatenate they just combine them so first has four elements second has five elements so when they combine it should be nine elements and the element should be in the same order at, as it is shown in the list so just take l1 l2 and just write l1 plus l2 the plus operator will concatenate this two list so let's write shift enter you get a b 120 that is the first list and then 110 till minus 100 that is the second now they are combined into the one list 
you can store this into L3 and then you can see what is stored in L3. So now L3 has this much. Now if you want to see the length of L3, it should be 9 because 4 and 5 it should is 9. Now, so this now you know that how to concatenate the two list. Now say if you want to check that if some element is present in in a list or not. So for that you just see that which element you want to know and use the keyword in. So let say the L1 is A B120 and you want to see that if A is present in L1 or not. So you just write A and write in L1 it, it since it is present it will give true and say if you want to check that if 30 is present in L1 or not so you just write it will give you false because 30 is not present say you check 20 since 20 is present it will say true so this is known as uh, checking the element in a list you understood that it's concatenation you understand the deleting of the elements you understood this updating elements and then accessing the elements so these are very important you should practice this before you go ahead and learn more uh, concepts there are many other concepts uh, uh, data structures in python that i will discuss in more videos and uh, i will be explaining about dictionary and tuple and all those things and how to convert uh, all these things and how to create one one data structure from the other that is very important but this list is very simple and everything is very simple you just need to go uh, step by step to learn how it is being done so now i will explain you like iteration that is the last thing which i will explain in this video that l1 is a b 120 and now for iteration means what you write is for x in l1 that means x in l1 means it will select each of the elements step by step iterating one by one and it is it prints x so so a b 120 that is called iteration for x in l1 print x that is iteration so in the next video i will be explaining more about the functions which are being used for um, list how to sort or how to use the summary statistics in a list so please have a look on the next videos uh, i will be uploading uh, thanks for watching this video and please do not forget to like and subscribe thank you